the harshest lockdown measures. Shanghai, China's global financial hub, is a mess. The COVID outbreak in early March has turned China's largest city into one big, unhappy quarantine center. Shanghai has reported more than 5 million cases so far. International observers believe China is under-reporting the number of COVID cases. The official figure of 300 dead in Shanghai is also contested because China does not give a definition for what it determines to be a COVID death. On holiday, everyone really wants to hang out somewhere. But during the pandemic, I definitely don't want my work to be impacted after going out. So we generally stay at home or travel to nearby places. A dip in cases in Shanghai has allowed officials to ease down on restrictions in areas where no new COVID cases have emerged. While Shanghai is recovering, Beijing is the new worry. In a mass testing exercise, 22 million in China's capital were tested for COVID. Beijing has shut down a number of schools, offices and residential compounds to prevent the spread. Because uh, lockdown, the one consequence is like you don't know your neighbor, right? You know, they may die in their apartment. You have no idea at all. So that's, uh, that happened in Wuhan that way too. The year 2022 is crucial to Xi Jinping as he's expected to secure a third term as president. The scenes that took place in Shanghai hit China's image and she would do anything to avoid a repeat of it in the capital. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.